So uh, first I would like to ask you for your permission to use this video for educational purpose on internet. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. I have your permission then. Yes. Now, um, tell me about uh, your symptoms before the surgery. How bad was your pain before the surgery? Anywhere from a 6 or 7 to above a 10. Okay, and how long have you had those pains? Almost 20 years exactly. And uh, then we went through lots of non-surgical treatment and then we decided that's not working for you. Just about a month ago, we did a L5 S1 ulnar for you. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, uh, you told me that you don't remember much from the day of the surgery, but I do remember that we ambulated you. And uh, many times people put just their fantastic results on the internet, yeah. but you were none of those fantastic results <laughs> because <laughs> tell me, right after the surgery, you, you said, told me your pain, you had pain in the back and going to the leg, but you had something new after the surgery. Tell me what that was. Um, the new, a new pain in my foot that was never there before. I've never had pain in my foot in the last 20 years. It's all been from here up. And um, it basically mostly is on the top of the foot and the big toe, the second toe, and the third toe. And that is actually, um, this is L5 nerve root. This is this nerve root. In the surgery, mm -hmm. what we do, if you like to come closer to you get a better uh, uh, picture of that. In the surgery, you're laying on your back mm -hmm. and we make an incision about half an inch on the left side with the two, we go inside of the uh, this space mm -hmm. and as you see there's this nerve here yes that we have to push to the side to go in to uh, perform the surgery we consent everybody for 15 percent risk of nerve root irritation most of the time it's just a numbness in the l5 nerve root as you just described very rarely it can be even more irritation and you had the full pictures you are one of those lucky people had full pictures yes i did and, and you know for that reason actually we kept you in the hospital a little longer to do physical therapy and so on and you went home uh, four days, actually you went to the nursing home four days after the uh, That's correct. surgery. But now the day after the surgery, how bad was your pain? Not bad at all. Okay. But it, it was like from a, over a 10 down to a two or a three. But the, and the part of that is as well that uh, we, in the surgery, we put some epidural steroid injection right here. Mm -hmm. In that and that steroid cools down, and that uh, numbing medication with the injection actually keep everything numb. Okay. Explain it to me, it, so for people it, understand that it didn't hurt in the incision mm -hmm. where the incisions are. It did not come down the back of my leg to behind my knee. Mm -hmm. It's going straight to my foot. Like a burning sensation. It burns. It feels like somebody's burning me with a torch or yeah. flame. What about the stingers? Like a stinger as well? Like yes. Do you see jolt? Yes, and it okay. jolts. Okay. Now. Again, you know, uh, well, once we put the epidural injection there, everything is cool and down, cooled down. Now, after the surgery, obviously, uh, after a period of time, that the effect of the medication goes away. And as well, uh, the uh, two nerves, or the nerve that is there, mm -hmm. is like a life electricity wire. Once the, it comes back to life uh -huh. and they start making connection, it's like a spark flying that the, the people have this uh, exactly the sensation that you just talked about. Yes. We compared this actually to open surgery. Open surgery have 15%, actually 50% more risk of nerve being irritated. Uh -huh. But many times people just feel so horrible, so miserable that that is just part of all the problems they have. But if they all of, as you just described, overall they feel so much better that this is, agro, uh, this is actually amplified the symptoms that they have in the L5 nerve root is amplified and as a matter of fact we as well followed this up the prognosis of this is fantastic okay meaning that usually after uh, four to eight weeks the vast majority of the people start getting better very few people keep that more than just few months and those feeling of the, it's like a stinger like a burning mm -hmm. is actually when the nerve is coming back to life is a sign of healing okay that we start treating that with uh, mainly with the uh, pain medication, mm -hmm. but as well with steroid injection, mm -hmm. with um, a medrol dose pack as well, which is the oral steroid. Okay. And if that lasts uh, two weeks or more after that, we as well start people on gabapentin and the overall prognosis is fantastic. Now I'd like to look at the pictures. First, if, the, if you're sitting there, your spine is right now like this. Yes. Back, front, up, down. You're sitting on the, the what we call the sacrum and uh, the first picture here is a cut this way, and we are looking like this coming out of the monitor. Okay. The second picture here is a cut this way, like this 
is cut this way and we look at it okay. from this side. Now we are going top to bottom. Here's front, back, right, left. Here is uh, actually the metal of the screw. And the screws are in a very good position. And the second screws are as well in a very good position. The cage is between the bone. It's a little eccentric. We usually like to put a little in the middle, but you're, uh, especially with the woman, the hip is in our way. Sometimes this is the best we get. Now, okay. when the bone grows back together, that really doesn't matter where bone grows. It just becomes stronger. So in all our studies, even eccentric uh, placement of the cage has been pretty good, uh, effective in uh, uh, achieving fusion. Okay. Now, what we are interested in is, again, in the foramen and in the CT we see that the screws are here and this is the foramen which is actually very large and adequately open on the left side as well it's open on the other side here is that the foramen where the nerve root the L5 nerve root is coming out on the right side mm -hmm. now as well I like to go and get the MRI lined up for us so we can look at the MRI as well and here in the MRI that I'm going to put here again we see that up down front back again uh, what we call a sagittal view and then we go to the foramen this is the left side we still see some sign of uh, what we call fat around the nerve root, meaning that foramen is open. On the other side, the foramen is huge, open. But here, as well on the left side, the foramen size is adequate, and there's still some distance between some of the material there, as well as the nerve root. So what you have practically is that 50% nerve root irritation that we talked about. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that it comes usually uh, after the surgery is mostly because of two factors. First, that epidural steroid injection that we put in, keep everything quiet and calm for a while. As well as usually we, when people start healing, especially after the surgery when they go home or somewhere else, when they start using that segment more, the swelling of the surgery gets somewhat worse. The combination of these two, that the medication is now gone and people do more and there's more swelling, right. makes it happen that uh, in some cases, the uh, pain doesn't uh, come right after the surgery, but few days after the surgery. Mm -hmm. But still, the chance of that is uh, actually maybe somewhat less than 15%, but we consent a patient always for 15%, which by itself is actually um, less uh, than open old-fashioned surgery. Okay. Now, um, I think in your case, I would like to give a, a, an epidural steroid injection today. Okay. Just cool down those nerves. We will start you on some um, a, a, a additional medication to keep okay. you uh, comfortable. We will do physical therapy. And uh, I think uh, at a certain point, you will notice that that stingers start at some level. They get worse. They uh, maximize around a week after they appear, mm -hmm. but then usually start getting uh, going down slowly over a period of few weeks. Okay. My job is not just to keep you comfortable. Nothing bad is happening. This okay. is exactly the uh, nerve root irritation that we talked about before the surgery. And again, the, the looking back at the more than 450 patients, the prognosis of this is extremely good. Any question? We have any questions? No, I do not. Thank oh, you very okay. much. Then we Thank you, Dr. Abbasi. Proceed with the nerve root injection. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you. you.